in today's video I will be putting together both heroes from the Carrion Empire box set and having a look at how easy they're put together or how tricky they can be to put together. Alright, so there's very little stuff that we need. I have my clippers, my knife, my glue. Uh, two different base sizes, which I wasn't expecting. The Ghoul King takes 40mm and the Bombardier takes 32mm. Which, at first I was thinking why not just put the, the, the two of them on the same size. But, it kind of makes more sense because this is much more of a kind of a Lord model. And this, the Bombardier, is more of a hero level. So it kind of makes sense to keep them on different sized bases. So two kind of, I think these were called the clam, clam pack sized sprues. Um, full of detail and I think there's roughly about nine pieces on each one. I know there's nine on the Ghoul King. I think there's about eight on this one that I can see. So I'm going to start off with the Ghoul King and I'll put them together. I'll put most of them together and we'll see how I'm getting on with that then. Okay, so I'm about halfway through putting these two guys together and... One is extremely easier than the other. Do you want to take a guess at which one it is? The Skaven guy so far has been much much easier to put together. Now as detailed as this guy is, he is an absolute pain to glue. He's so fragile and he's in like a, like, like a knot. Uh, like a not so normal pose so it's kind of hard to get everything. Um, it's like one of those things where you hear like, oh, the way GW models are engineered. Um, it's like half his body is here, but half his face is missing. So that's like his half face is part of some other big long piece. And it's like that. And it kind of, it might be a little bit unfortunate with this guy. Because if you look at the bottom of his chin, you can see that little gap. So I'm going to have to green stuff that before I even attempt to paint this guy. Which is rather unfortunate, but other than that, he's looking good. Not the easiest guy to put together, but you know, I'm sure he's gonna look. He's gonna look like he's well worth it at the end. As for the Skaven guy, the Bombardier, there we go. He is looking really good. He was so simple to put together. I think it took me like a, like about 10 minutes, 15 minutes to get the the flesh eater quartz guy together. This guy was like. Two minutes. Very simple. All I had left to do was put on his head, uh, the doom rocket, and there's like another one or two pieces of pipe to go in. So overall, like you'll do them pretty quick, but just take your time with this guy because when you're cleaning bits of the sprue off him, he's not like he's so many spiky bits. It's gonna poke into your fingers. It's not easy to get at the right angle. There's a couple of more lines on him. But other than that, he's looking good. So I'm gonna finish these off and then we'll see what the final model is like. All right, so all finished. Both guys are made up. Bit of advice, take your time with the Ghoul King. Very tricky model to put together. He's a lot of kind of frail pieces. You wanna be careful with his fingers and stuff like that. But he turns out great. Uh, the Warlock Bombardier, very, very simple to put together. The only thing I would say is don't put the base on till very last because there's a little pipe piece here that I'll show later and um, that it's kind of tricky to put on once the base is on it. So let's have a closer look. Let's start with the Ghoul King. Here we go. Now this guy, he looks fantastic. There's, there's a little bit too much glue on him because it's one of those kind of fiddly models very fragile there's a lot of kind of sharp dangly bits that could easily be snapped off especially these fingers here but other than that uh, very dynamic very fitting of a leader of the flesh eater courts the scenic base this terrain piece here is awesome and um, he glues pretty well together there's no kind of real awkward parts except maybe when you're putting the fingers onto the hand here which is Bizarre how in hell they ever did that But other than that Very very cool model Now the Skaven arch or the Skaven warlock the bombardier Went together so easily. He's very uh, Chunky I think you could put it that way like the backpack is one solid piece the body is two pieces the Doom rocket is a single piece 
the head is a single piece there's nothing really tricky apart from maybe the tail which goes underneath and it touches one of the pieces on the backpack um, and as I said this is the piece here that pipe it has to go kind of under the doom rocket and to the back here so I had them glued onto the base so you maybe want to do that just before you glue it on just to make it easier for yourself because I had to take out the old tweezers and try and hold it in place until the glue started to finally set so these two the two heroes of the Carrion Empire set two very cool models both dynamic but you know this guy is way more dynamic look at that pose it's awesome but then you kind of have to take in like the craziness of what a doom rocket is which gives them a bit of range as well so i really like that so overall two really cool models to put together let me zoom back out two very cool models to put together i enjoyed it didn't take too long a little bit more time took with the ghoul king as said before but um it was all good so two different base sizes 40 millimeter and 32 millimeter and uh just have to get around to paint them now at some point uh, that's the fun part that's when the fun begins so uh, if you guys like this build video let me know what you think hopefully you've gained something from this so uh, leave a comment below hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and once again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next video